Okay, um, good afternoon or good morning to everybody, depending on uh, what part of the world you're dialing in from, uh, and welcome to another Raytech webinar. Today's webinar is all about a new range of panoramic illuminators, uh, Panoramic Ultra, and is all about how to achieve fantastic 360 degree images at night. Um, for anybody who hasn't met me and doesn't know me, my name is David Lambert, and I'm the Joint Managing Director over here at Reatech in the UK. Okay, a few housekeeping points. Um, first of all, all attendees are automatically muted on entry, um, so hopefully you won't hear any of the voices during the presentation. Um, if you do have any questions, there is a chat function on the toolbar. You can type in your question on that, and I will answer the question at the end of the presentation. Alternatively, you can choose to raise your hand, and at the end of the presentation, again, I will unmute you and you're welcome to ask your question verbally for the benefit of everybody. So, run through it quickly. It's some uh, quite cool pictures, quite cool stuff to show you. Should take around 30 minutes um, and I hope you find it interesting. Okay, so what we'll run through very briefly, we'll run through why panoramic illumination is more relevant now than ever before and why we need it. Uh, camera challenges at night. Uh, the performance of panoramic ultra and how it's so much better than anything that's gone before and how it marries up to the requirements of uh, today's cameras. How to deploy Panoramic Ultra, uh, some of the questions about positioning and setup. And of course, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you about some of the other cool, new and exciting products and services that we have available. We've just attended our largest trade show in the year, IFSEC, and a number of new products and services were launched at the show that I'd like to share with you. Okay. So why is panoramic lighting needed now more than ever before? Well, hopefully you agree with these, but we are seeing a growth in the demand for PTZ cameras and definitely a modern trend growth of multi-sensor cameras. And both of those camera technology types are looking at wide angle, large areas that need panoramic lighting to illuminate them. So, PTZ cameras, multi-sensor cameras are causing an uh, increased demand for lighting to cover larger areas to match the camera's field of view. This is actually a, an image taken from a Dalmaya promotion, so it shows a st stitched multi-sensor cameras, but you can see it's a very, very wide image, uh, very long distance, and they're looking at different objects within the scene, people standing on platforms, vehicles, uh, and you will need very wide angle to achieve that. So the demand on us as a lighting manufacturer is to deliver illumination that matches up to that requirement. Um, not only do we have to cover large areas, we have to cover the whole scene perfectly. Um, so apologies, this has ha gone a little pixelated. It wasn't when I grabbed the image, but this is from a, a Pelco promotion I received uh, just this week. So hot off the press. But you can see from a lighting manufacturer, if we look at this scene, we have to look right down the road to the right right down the road to the left, and if something happens in that scene during the day, the camera will see it. The challenge for us is to make sure that if something happens in that scene, whether it's vehicle theft, whether it's entry into the buildings, uh, somebody crossing the pedestrian walkway, we can see that at night as well. So we have to get the illumination right so that the camera never misses any event at night, just like it would never miss an event during the day. Okay. Um, I also took this statement from the, from the it's a bit of a, a mashup. These aren't images from uh, Pelco, but this statement is from the Pelco's promotion. They say their multi-sensor cameras allows you to see the big picture and every last detail. Our lighting, therefore, has to empower that. So if we look at it from a, from a lighting perspective, pixels are very important. Pixels allow us to recognize people, identify people, uh, and spot threats. Um, this looks perfect during the day, but at night, that will get very dark without lighting. And with inadequate lighting, it would get a very noisy, very grainy picture. And obviously, the more noise you have, the less effective pixels you have. So your identification and recognition rates drop dramatically. The distances at which you could achieve those drop dramatically. Drop dramatically. So we have to illuminate the area perfectly to, to empower all the pixels with light. That, in turn, less operators use the digital zoom function of the cameras and it allows 
uh, advanced video analytics so you can identify threats uh, and monitor secure areas. So the challenge with these cameras, PTZ cameras, uh, multi-sensor cameras, is really at night. You will never really see any of those cameras promoting their nighttime images because their performance drops off dramatically at night without lighting. So we know, because we spend our lives thinking about nighttime CCTV, the dedicated wide-angle lighting helps you achieve the same level of performance during the night that you can during the day. And some of the advances we've achieved with the Panoramic Ultra are quite a big step or jump forward in terms of what is possible. Okay. I'd just like to quickly explain what Panoramic Ultra is. Uh, and the first thing to say is we have had Panoramic Illuminators at Raytech for five, six, seven years now. And they've always been one of our most popular items. But the first thing to say is Panoramic Ultra is significantly better than our old Panoramic units. Um, and there are a number of reasons for that, a number of product enhancements, including uh, use of new surface mount technology LEDs, new uh, light intensification miniature optics over each LED, and the use of a new holographic diffuser. Take those three items together, combine it with more power, and we could actually more than double the power from the panoramic unit to the panoramic ultra. Out of the same platform, the same size, we've more than doubled the power output, which is quite incredible. What that double, doubling of the power output equates to is three big advantages. Uh, we can now cover 50% more distance. So doubling the power does not mean you double the distance. The old panoramic units used to achieve 100 meters. Um, now we can achieve 150 meters as shown by this symbol. So we can achieve more than 50% more distance. Um, but the good news is we've also been able to lower the price. So typically a 10% drop in the price of our panoramic illuminators. So true case of more for less. Uh, and when domes are looking at ever wider areas, especially with multi-sensor domes, because you have a range of each sensor looks at its own area, we've we sort of identified our solution um, to providing illumination for those cameras. So some of the advantages of Panoramic Ultra, before I show you some videos and some, some still images, because we always believe that images speak louder than words. Um, Panoramic Ultra has a very, very wide um, angle of light distribution, over 180 degrees. We quote 180 degrees usable, but actually goes a little wider than that. Very, very long distances, so 150 meters plus. A very key point. So if I, if you look at those daytime images earlier, obviously the, the the whole scene is illuminated to a very similar light level during the day. But with Panoramic Ultra, we try our very best and we achieve it to get even illumination throughout the whole scene, left to right, foreground to background, and that has a dramatic impact on the performance of the camera at, at the night. And I will show you some images that highlight that. But that's one of the big things that differentiate us here at Realtek. Obviously, because we can do 180 degrees, you can get full 360 degree coverage with only two units, which allows you to cover very, very large areas uh, from one camera. Uh, by putting higher power levels of light on scene, um, energizing each pixel with light, we empower a camera's ability to digital zoom. Everybody will be familiar that uh, when you use a digital zoom, you lose resolution because you increase the size of the pixels on the screen. Um, and it highlights any uh, lack of light on the scene. So you have to make sure you get enough light on scene to empower digital zoom. It gives you high defini de definition pictures and it allows video analytics to work. And I'll explain those in a little bit more detail. So first point is very, very wide field of view. And this is a fantastic image, uh, almost 500 feet uh, at 180 degrees from a single illuminator. And I can show you some video clip from that. So I won't expend, uh, extend the viewer. Sometimes causes problems with the, uh, the video streaming. But you can see this is Panoramic Ultra in action uh, on an airfield. So it's incredibly dark. No light assistance from streetlights covering exceptionally long distance up to 500 feet at angles up to 180 degrees. 
and hopefully you agree but the pictures here are absolutely outstanding uh, without any light to support the camera other than a single illuminator so you can even see the details and the um, the code signs of the of the aircraft it's obviously a very small airfield and you can see the kind of range distance and square footage or square meterage covered by the single illuminator that uh, peak of light is actually vehicle headlights So for those of you who did attend IFSEC, you'll have seen this video running at IFSEC, uh, and almost everybody that's seen it was amazed by the footage. This is uh, detecting a person 150 meters, 500 feet away. Um, we do make our staff get out at night to do the testing, so that is unfortunately one of our salespeople standing in an airfield in the middle of the night in the cold. And you can see how the video quality just gets better and better. There's no overexposure, um, no hot spots in that image whatsoever. So I hope you can see the performance advantage in that. Okay. Uh, just to show you what's possible between panoramic ultra and alternative technologies we do see a number of PTZ domes with inbuilt IR we see a number in the UK we know Samsung have them we know others have them the advantage of panoramic ultra is your lighting is always illuminating the full area 180 degrees long distance so you can never miss an event from happening your camera and your lens do not have to be focused in on where the action is happening so compare that to panoramic ultra image uh, with the PTZ dome with inbuilt IR, which tend to be very short range, um, very spotty. So if something happens out, already that image here is a narrower image than this image, yet the outside of the images are dark. You're getting a graduation of light from the foreground to the background. So they are complete polar opposites. But with panoramic lighting, we would say you can enable wider angles. You never miss an event. Uh, and you can illuminate the whole area for more than one camera. So you can use it for other cameras, or you can illuminate the whole area for multi-sensor cameras. Okay. Obviously, two units can be put together to illuminate 360 degrees, as seen with an installation shot here. It's not all about angles. It's also about distances, um, and we achieve the best possible distances. So you can see we only caught 500 feet from our panoramic, where you can see this image is achieving... 250 meters, 820 feet, which is the trees at the background here. Uh, that is beyond what we would say is acceptable. So the light level would drop. So we don't quote that distance. We quote this area, but that shows you what's possible here. So not just ultra wide, but ultra long, which translates to huge areas covered. Uh, I do say it empowers digital zoom, and we wouldn't really um, promote the light at this kind of distance for ENPR, but just to show you what is possible, zooming in on this image at a car 150 meters away, you can make out the license plate. So, uh, incredible possibilities. Uh, and this is another very long distance wide angle shot. Again, if you notice, the front of the image and the back of the image are not different levels of, of illumination. You're looking at one very consistent level of light throughout the whole scene. Nobody else will be able to achieve that. At 100 meters, this is what's possible. You can identify the subject. Lights on here, lights off. Uh, and we do something unique at Raytech. And I guess we can summarize that by our distance promise. Uh, and tr this is the, how we calculate and identify how far our illuminators will cover. So I can sit here and tell you with my hand on my heart that Raytech will deliver more light power on scene than any other lighting manufacturer or camera with integrated light everybody else um, and the way we do that is we we measure every single illuminator that we have for power measurement uh, and we take that power measurement and we calculate a scientific distance achievement and we do that by setting a minimum power on scene and our rating is 0.35 milliwatts per centimeter squared which is a higher standard of lighting power on scene than anybody else in the industry so we can guarantee that if you look at our data sheets and spec sheets and take our distance compared to anybody else's 
we will deliver more light on scene at that distance than anybody else. Um, I also mentioned hotspot reduction technology or even illumination rather and the way we achieve even illumination is hotspot reduction technology. So if you look at this image on the left with panoramic on and panoramic off, uh, we need to illuminate the whole scene perfectly. So you need to know that if a crime happens here or here or here or if someone walks very close to the camera, which we do see a lot, often if you have a bright spot here, if a subject walks close to the camera, the camera iris closes um, so you actually get this person at the front, but you lose all the detail behind. So we need to stop the camera from having to cope with that um, change in lighting dynamics, and we try and illuminate the whole scene perfectly. And just to highlight that, this is the whole scene, lights on and off. Um, this is the guy at the front, lights on and off, and the guy on the car, the other way. So the whole scene, where no matter where you stand in that scene, you should be hit with the same level of light. So perfect for monitoring, multiple subjects from multiple cameras or wide-angle scenes. Um, also, by energizing the whole scene, um, reducing noise in the picture, we enable video analytics to work. So more noise means a reduction in the quality of video analytics, um, shorter distances, more bandwidth, more storage requirements. So by simply producing more light on scene and avoiding hotspots, your video analytics will work better with rear tech lights. Okay. Um, just a very quick overview how to use Panoramic Ultra. So I've talked a little bit about uh, the angle. So hopefully you all get the message now that Panoramic Ultra is 180 degrees, very wide angle. Uh, that's its horizontal beam spread. But there is a little um, secret to its vertical beam spread. And that is that the vertical beam angle on Panoramic Ultra is only 5 degrees. And there are lots of advantages around that. So you get less light wastage in the sky. You can highly target your beams, you focus your power, you get more punch, more distance. And also, part of the reason we avoid overexposure to foreground objects. Because we measure the 5 degrees as it's 50% power point. Beyond 5 degrees, it will still produce some power, but the power will drop. So, we just, if you mount the illuminator on a pole, you will still get a nice spread of light from the very point the illuminator is positioned, all the way out to its maximum distance of 500 feet but you won't get any overexposure up close. Uh, what that means is you have to be uh, slightly careful positioning the light. So the, 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 the positioning of the vertical beam is very important. Uh, we always recommend that you would set the lights up at night because that's the only way you can truly be sure where they're looking. If you turn the light on during the day, first of all, you can't see IR with the eye. Uh, and it would be hard to pick up where the beam is pointing if you if you looked at the IR beam through a camera. Um, you can use the Raytex daytime setup tool. So this tool, you use this part to clip on top of the light. You look through uh, one one of these channels, uh, and it looks back out through the one to point exactly where the light is pointing. So you can use that to align your light, uh, and those are available from us. So if you're setting a system up at night, please let us know and we'll provide you with some of those setup tools. If you can, um, we would always recommend view the CCTV feed because you want to make sure your light is looking exactly where your camera is positioned or use a local monitor to make sure you're pointing the main beam of the light at the maximum target distance of 500 feet. Uh, and the final point we would always say is just position the light around one meter or one meter plus away from the camera. You just want to avoid any reflection into the PDZ dome or, or, or camera which would just cause some glare. So that's our very quick overview of the panoramic system. Uh, just want to mention some of the other very exciting product news and service updates we have. Um, it's a big part of the year for us in terms of product releases, um, so it's a good chance to share them. So we are continuing to make good progress um, with intelligent lighting. So we are the only people around that have a full range of network illuminators that can be controlled from your VMS system. Um, respond to events on the system. So we work with um, Milestone and Mirasys and all those VMS guys, um, but it's a continuous process. So what I'd like to share with you now is we now have um, full access air cap integration, so you control the lights through your access camera. And what, that, what that is, it's a free plug-in. 
um, and you can control the lights without the need for a VMS, which keeps your cost down. You don't have to plug the light into the VMS, an extra channel and more wiring. Control through your camera, um, cross-line detection can trigger the light, um, exposure levels can trigger the light, uh, and you can control individual lights or you can control lights in groups. And you can even use um, the lighting, or if, if a camera detects movement um, into a secure area, you can even flash the white light to cause a visible deterrent. And obviously, because we're air tech, that, that, that sort of air cap integration is available in both our IR and white light illuminators. We've also just released our um, a Vigilon integration, so very similar. Um, another step towards our drive for intelligent lighting that, that works with everything else you have in your security platform. These aren't the only two integrations we have. These are just two of the latest ones we have launched. Um, and this shows some of the screen grabs from the AirCap integration. You don't have to check out the detail, but it's exactly the same principle. Um, it's a free plug-in. You don't pay for it. Control lights individually. So if, a, if one light is positioned with a particular camera, you can have that, that light um, produce more or less light that the camera requires, or if a camera is looking, or for the number of cameras looking down a fence line, if a break-in is detected at one point on the fence line, you can illuminate all that side of the fence line. And again, you can take immediate control. Um, you can control infrared and white light products, uh, and you can trigger. You trigger the way it works is you trigger the lights from camera events that go through the Vigilon control center. And you can also do it the other way around. So illuminator events, such as photocell detecting that it get, is getting dark, can trigger other actions. So you, you can change your cameras into black and white mode, or you can turn all your other lights on, so all your lights turn on and seen at the same time. Um, we've also launched a new product in our Vario range. Um, so those of you who are familiar with Reatech will know we have the two, four, and eight size series small, medium, and large size Vario in both infrared and white light. We now have the 16 size, so a new large um, for even longer distances, even longer ranges, uh, and that's available in both infrared and white light, uh, and it comes with interchangeable beam angles, as does every Vario illuminator. As this presentation is about panoramic lighting, and I've mentioned panoramic ultra can cover up to 150 meters, 500 feet, the cool thing about the 16 size Vario is if you wanted even longer distances at panoramic or with PTZ domes and multi-sensor domes, three of these units can cover up to 200 meters at 180 degrees. Okay, so there you go, 200 meters at 180 degrees is possible in infrared. Um, other cool new stuff, we've launched uh, a lighting design app. Uh, it's currently available on the iStore. Um, and it is like a simple-to-use lighting design module. Um, it's currently on the iStore. I believe in the next week it will be on um, the Android store, and it will shortly be available for PC. So Reatech offer a professional lighting design service, but this is, uh, let's say it's 85% 80, of the job. It gives you an idea. So um, basically it allows you to access uh, a site, a top-down image of the site via Google Earth, this particular image here is of the Reatech factory. This building is the Reatech factory. Sorry, this building is the Reatech factory. And then you can just select your Reatech products from a menu, and each Reatech product is appears on that um, site plan as a as a footprint and a drawing for the area it will cover. You can drag the illuminators around to find the right mounting position uh, and angle them to target the areas you want to illuminate. You can add notes. Uh, for which products you've used, uh, and you can email your lighting design and product list to customers or to yourself to create a shopping list. Uh, and this is just taking a look at a, at a typical design. So that is our factory. This is the factory next door, and we've basically dragged and dropped these illuminators around the building. So there's a Vario i4-3, Vario i2-2, and this, these sort of cones represent the... Uh, the area that the light will cover, so you can very quickly get a graphical representation of what kind of lights you need to cover an area. So if anyone wants that, it's free of charge. So, and as I say, it does 80-85% of the job of a of a high spec lighting design. So well worth it. All of our sales team will use it. Just have a look on the iStore and search for Rare Tech Design App, 
Um, or if anyone can't remember that, just drop me a line after the presentation. I'll help you with the details. Um, we've also launched a range of um, brackets to support the Vario Illuminator. So we call it the Vario Universal Bracket, or VUB. And it will mount any one of our Vario Illuminators. Okay, so that's simple and easy to understand. Um, in summary, there are two mounting brackets. There is this one with screws to mount to a wall. And there is this one with clips to mount behind uh, around a pole. So you pick wall mount or pole mount. And then there are five different options for mounting plates, depending on the size of area you're, you're fitting. So this gives you an idea to fit um, the small, medium, large, extra large, and to fit the power supply. Just to give you an idea, small, medium, large, mounting up to three on each plate. So you have two options for the, the VUB bracket on the back and five options for the plate. But the simple message is we've now got a universal bracket, uh, the VUB, that can help you mount any any Vario Illuminator. Um, it can go around poles, it can mount different size units, and it can also be used to help you position the lights to go up, uh, look around the corner of walls if, if you only want to use one bracket. Um, we do still offer our um, full in-depth bespoke lighting design service so I'd just like to draw your attention that again is something that makes us unique and if anyone hasn't used it you should because it's free of charge and there's nothing like presenting your customer with a lighting design that tells you exactly how much light they'll get on scene we offer a 2D service so if you look at this the yellow lines tell you where the illuminators are pointing and these numbers represent lux levels so everywhere inside the blue line here is a minimum of 25 lux you can see 70, 30, 40 looks. And we offer 3D graphical designs and, and site representations as well, if you need, really need to wow your customer. So I think that's all I wanted to cover today. I hope you found that interesting and you take the time to have a look at Panoramic and our new lighting design app. If anyone does have any questions, uh, you're welcome to click on raise your hands under the attendee list or type it into the chat function. And I will try and answer them as best I can. <laughs>